Hi. For a quick overview, we will just use it standalone as we uh, with the same command we passed before. The reason is we can enlarge it. So it's much easier to see what's happening exactly. Okay, you see that the files that was uh, the project, I name it project now, it was load automatically. It's the one that was save with here, save current work. That's what we have here. So those two previews, you must, uh, you you may change the layout of them with a s either a single view. You have everything, all the same information is there, okay? Or the dual view with side by side or top bottom. Find the one that suits best your need or your computer and monitor. I like the side by side view like this. When you're satisfied with what you have, save as default layout. Don't forget that. You may hide this column, the name column, if you have it right here, so it's possible to make it narrower. You will not have the scroll bar here. Or, and the uh, subgroup in master tree. So you can see that even if you have the master, you have about the same information, just tool changing, a step over, and chords, crew, and everything. It's uh, the header, subheader is here and the parameters are right here. Okay. Okay, we have in the file, we have the new project. If I create the new project, that's what we saved before as the default template. And open project, I can go and uh, see Maxis, uh, and demo and cam, catalog, mill, and save the restore reload the current work that we had here. Okay, you can save the project too. It will save an XML file, save as default template, or export the code with an NGC file. That's what it does automatically every time you do a change. The possibility now with this is you can name it and uh, you can reload it without restoring but it's not something that you will use very often you'd rather save the project and reload the project in the edit you have undo redo you can undo about 200 times i think it's 200 time with the the buttons here or with the control z the shortcut are all written here you had a subroutine when you had a subroutine it goes with this icon view go to basic shape or whatever what you want or you may add with that menu here that is easier to understand to see exactly what you have but the other one is faster I agree and you also have this quick access toolbar that can be uh, customized to have the button in the right order and that would not change and um, you can duplicate easily with control D remove with control delete move up or down this one can move up okay the buttons here follow uh, if I change this I will have a problem no I will not have a problem but if it's embed it's trying to create uh, it will try to use a tool diameter and select a tool but none have been select because you change the order. The order is then very important. Okay, and the add you have everything. You can import an XML file. In the example, you want to add a file. You will have some in the example, or the one some you save. You can have them. Or if you're creating some um, config file yourself, you can. Uh, uh, load uh, a prototype or one that is already done here like group or everything it's the same doing this is exactly the same as uh, going to get the group, group the standard group here that I selected 
in the utilities you can auto refresh it's not checked because it's not um, because Linux CNC is not loaded if I load Linux, Linux CNC now I can click on this button and it will um, load the file the generated file in the Linux CNC and you will see what happened what you're doing exactly you can reload the tool table we'll see it later in the in another video and the preference that will be the subject of another video too in the help you can go to native cam on YouTube where you uh, will see all these uh, the video that I'm, I'm preparing none yet of course and uh, would will bring you at uh, Linux CNC home or forum or another one and uh, that's about it for a quick overview.